Hi food day lovers! If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you can stick around, like, and subscribe. Here's a quick review of two Sonia G eyeshadow brushes. Both are made out of undyed Psycho Goat, and they're soft enough for most people unless you can only use Squirrel. The handles in Sonia's line are quite long. If you're nearsighted like I am, using brushes too close to the mirror isn't always fun as the handles will hit the mirror repeatedly. Um, same goes for, let's say, the MAC 239 right here. It's really long. It's actually longer than Sonia's brushes. And Hakuhodo eye brushes are a tad shorter. So I don't have any problems with Hakuhodo brushes smacking my mirror. And the worker two is this one I'm gonna hold up and I'll try to hold it as still as possible. This is the this is the front. Here's the profile view and the back. And while I describe it, I'll put it down. This is labeled as an eyeshadow brush that, according to the Beautylish website, softens, blurs, and diffuses pigment without overblending, thanks to the perfect combination of grip and control. It is large and extremely dense. Just to show you, not much flexibility and not much resistance. And going over the lid like this, and then the top, you can see the density at the top right here. I love dense brushes, but this is actually too dense for my liking, and I never thought it would come to see the day where there was an, a there was an eyeshadow brush that's too dense for me. It seems to be modeled after the MAC 217 and the Hakuhodo J5523. I call this and the Builder 2 Super Cyan versions of the originals, and if you know Dragon Ball Z, then this is a Dragon Ball Z reference. Compared to the Hakuhodo J5523 on the right, it's about twice, oh sorry, twice the thickness. Here's the profile view for both of them. And the hairs on the J5523 are a little bit longer. And I'll compare it to the Koyomo Nadeshiko Pink Pearl Flat Eyeshadow Brush. The front looks kind of similar, more similar than the J5523, I think, in terms of hair length. And then on the profile view, it's about three times the thickness. It's, you know, the Koyama one is not very dense at all. It's, I wish it was denser and it's very flat and not fluffy. Okay, so I did try this brush as an Oliver shader, blender, and crease brush. And here, since since it's so dense, it over diffuses and over blends very easily. So you need a very light hand when you're using this brush. And even when not putting too much pressure, it shears out the shadow too much for my liking. And the size is too big as a blender and crease brush for my eyes. As someone who prefers brushes that don't over diffuse and blend, the brush, this brush just doesn't work for me. Okay, on to the Builder 2. Okay, so here's the front, the side, the back, and the top. Based on the description, you can blend, define, highlight, and smudge with it. Also has very dense and short hairs. It's even shorter than the Worker 2, wait, these names actually confuse me. Yeah, Worker 2 is on the left, so the hairs are a little bit shorter. And the shape is similar to the MAC 239. Let's see. So, like I said earlier, Super Cyan version of the brushes I'm comparing them to. I also brought out the Hakuhodo B004G for comparison. And they're uh, the worker, oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. The names really confuse me, so I have a hard time memorizing them. The, the Builder 2 on the, on the left is much denser than the other two and larger, as you can see in the profile view. And 
similar to the Builder 2, the density, here, let me try to, so the Builder 2 is on the left. Okay. The density of this brush overblends and over diffuses product. Even when, even when I'm patting crease colors onto the outer V area, it shears it out. It shears it out. It's, and it's not bad for applying colors onto the inner third of the lid. So I did watch um, a video recently where someone was using that, this brush for patting lid color onto the inner third of the lid. And I tried it myself, of course, and it, it worked pretty well for that. It's just, if I were to use it for any other type of thing, then I'm, it doesn't actually work that well for me. And I'm sorry for the <laughs> overexposure. My lighting is not wanting to cooperate with white colored brushes or white brush, right hairs. Uh, so in terms of formulas that are, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna put it down. In terms of formulas that are difficult to pick up, I prefer using my fingers over this brush. And it, if you use it as a, an under eyebrow highlight, it works like any other brow highlight brush for that area. Overall, these two are not must haves in my life but people with more lid space may appreciate them more than I do. I don't have that much lid space. I, I think I have like, maybe like a normal amount. And so your, mile, your mileage may vary basically. The brushes didn't work for me with my application methods, but they may work for you. And these two are actually one of my friend's holy grail. So yeah. Um, and Sonia did just release her pro eye brush set and I'm interested in trying out the brush that resembles the Hakuhodo J146 when it comes out individually next year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.